Hello and welcome. This is Jinilata Bhattrai from Single World News. Taiwan's myopia epidemic is a cautionary tale for the world. Pei Chang Wu, a dedicated eye surgeon who's witnessed a seismic shift in the eyes of his patients, affecting not just teenagers but also children in very large numbers. Let's look at the problem in details and also the solution. Taiwan's myopia surge among teenagers and even children is not an isolated case. It's part of a global wave with numbers soaring, particularly across Asia. Pei Chang Wu is an ophthalmologist with a mission. He has performed countless eye surgeries in Taiwan and over the years, he noticed something unsettling. His patients were getting younger and younger. Instead of treating myopia in seniors, he was operating on teenagers, even a 14-year-old high school student. Myopia, which occurs when the eyeball becomes too long, causing distant objects to blur, was spreading like wildfire across Asia. China reports that up to 90% of its young population is myopic, a staggering jump from just 10% in the 1950s. This epidemic isn't limited to Asia, it's a global issue with projections suggesting that by 2050, half the world's population will need vision correction, yes. The root cause of this myopia surge lies in shifting lifestyles. Taiwan, once an industrial powerhouse, transitioned from an agricultural to a manufacturing-based economy. Education became an obsession, with children spending endless hours indoors, hunched over books and screens. What's the consequence? A rise in myopia cases that threatens to blind millions prematurely. So is there a solution? The initial approach to combating myopia in Taiwan involved classroom changes and reducing close-up work. But the turning point came when Ian Morgan, an Australian researcher, discovered an unexpected link. Spending more time outdoors slashed the risk of myopia. Sunlight, it turns out, helps control the eye's growth preventing it from elongating excessively. Inspired by this revelation, Pei Chang Wu decided to take action. He persuaded his son's school to amp up outdoor breaks, adding nearly seven extra hours of sunlight each week. The results were astonishing, with significantly lowered myopia rates compared to a control school. Pei Chang Wu didn't stop there. He became a tireless advocate for outdoor time even using music and media to spread the message. He stressed the importance of simple free activities like soaking in the sun to fend off myopia. This groundbreaking insight challenged the conventional wisdom that blamed genetics, excessive screen time and close of work. Taiwan's myopia battle continues. A story of a determined ophthalmologist, a concerned parent, and the remarkable power of sunlight to thwart a growing global health crisis. It's a tale that reminds us of the importance of stepping outside, not just for our physical well-being, but for the health of our eyes and our future vision. As we witness Taiwan's myopia battle, we see a story of resilience, innovation, and the power of simple solutions. It's a story that reminds us of sometimes the answers to life's most complex problems can be found in the simplest of places. If you really like this video, don't forget to hit a like button, share and subscribe for the latest notifications. Stay connected with us. Kindly keep supporting us.